It's my birthday. Mm -mm 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 yeah, it's my birthday. Hi, I'm Gatre. Welcome to Leo Tinapika. Going with tradition, well, my tradition, I'm baking myself a birthday cake, and this video is all about that. If you're following me on Instagram, a Leo Tinapika, I asked a bunch of you on Insta stories what kind of cake I should bake for myself. Unfortunately, cheesecake didn't win, but don't worry, I'm still making myself a cheesecake. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a mixed berry cake with some white chocolate ganache and then make it like semi-naked and decorate it with berries. It's going to be a very simple cake to put together and I'm going to use my vanilla cake recipe as the base for this cake. So let's get started. For the mixed berry cake, I'm going to use my vanilla cake recipe and these are the ingredients, flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, sugar, mixed berries. So this is 400, about 400 grams of strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. I've quartered the strawberries. Two lemons, this we are using for the zest. Some maziwa mala, eggs, margarine or butter, and vanilla essence. So this cake is very easy to put together. The first step will be creaming the margarine and the sugar. The sugar. I'm using my KitchenAid stand mixer for this, but if you have an electric uh, hand mixer, that's fine. You can still use a wooden spoon for all you need is extra elbow grease. So. Once cream, we add in the eggs one at a time. I'm adding vanilla essence to the fourth egg before mixing it in. I think I'll also add the zest of the lemons. Whenever you're making a cake that has berries in it, the addition of lemon zest really helps to kick it up a notch. So never forget to add lemon zest when you're making a cake that has berries. Add in the final egg with the zest and the vanilla essence. As that is happening, mix up your flour with the baking powder, baking soda and salt. And then I'm going to add it gradually. I've added about a third of the flour, then half of the mala. If you don't have mala, you can make a substitute using milk and vinegar or lemon juice. So one cup of milk to one tablespoon of vinegar or lemon juice. The rest of the mala. Some bit of the flour, then oops, <laughs> I went the other way. I've stopped the mixer because I want to go in with my spatula. Uh, I want to fold in the berries and I don't want them to like break. So, first clean off this mix, mix. Then I take a bit of the flour, then I put my berries. So I used a pack of each, a pack of strawberries, a pack of raspberries, and a pack of blueberries. There, fold it all in. And we are done. So now to divide this between my prepared baking tins. Line with parchment. This is just my preference. However, you can grease with margarine or unsalted butter, dust with a little flour, and your tins will be ready. So I'm using, I'm using three seven inch tins. I want my cake to have a bit of height. And now to divide the butter. I'll start with about 400 grams per tin. 
uh, reason being I'm seeing 400 because we've added berries so for this butter I usually divide about 310 330 per tin but the berries have added weight to it so we'll go a bit higher so we start with about 400 there you go this cake butter is also perfect for cupcakes you can use it to make mixed berry cupcakes if you don't want to make a cake using the back of a spoon level out the cake as usual make sure your oven has been preheating at 180 degrees C it's always advisable to start preheating your oven just before you start mixing your cake in order to have the oven ready once you're done with this part and the cake is ready to be baked we're going to bake this at 180 degrees celsius for about 30 minutes or when a toothpick inserted at the center comes out clean or when a gentle press of the surface of the cake springs back the cakes are done baking so you see when you press springs back it's taken a bit longer because it's a little more and because of the berries so it's taken about 40 minutes to bake uh, so i'll let them cool completely before we get to the frosting of the cake for the frosting i'm using white chocolate ganache so i make this with equal parts white chocolate equal to equal parts heavy cream i bring the heavy cream to a boil then pour it over cut up chocolate uh, star allow it to set in the fridge for some time before I start whipping it I'm going to whip it using the stand mixer but you can use an electric hand whisk or an actual whisk which again will require some bit of elbow grease and some time but it still does work let's check on it uh, we want it want it to form a bit of stiff peaks since the cake will be I'll decorate I won't cover it completely it will be semi naked let's give it another go and uh, I think we're done yes as you can see there it is so now we get to frosting the cake excitement to decorate start with a dollop of the ganache on the board put your first layer in as much as I folded the fruits with flour majority still sunk to the bottom unfortunate then put some of the ganache using an offset spatula spread out the ganache looks like a almost over whipped my ganache one spread out go in with the next layer of cake this is a very easy cake to put together we are not looking for perfection we are looking for something rustic and uses very minimal frosting this is ideal for people who don't like a lot of frosting and you also want to have something rustic looking this works very well doing it very rustic then we remove the final now we're going to clean up the sides let me try and align it didn't okay good trying and aligning then once I align I try and decorate the sides of the cake and then we'll be almost done the gist of a semi-naked cake is that when you put the frosting you can see still see parts of the cake I really overweaved that ganache guys like really I don't know whether it translates on camera but I've over whipped it when you over whip what happens is that when the cake stays out longer it will start to crack the frosting will crack not the cake offset spatula go around the cake then offset spatula clean the board 
and there is our cake I've melted some dark chocolate dark chocolate compound putting it in a piping bag I always prop the bag in a cup or glass I'm going to drip the chocolate around the cake and then I go in with my assortment of berries take it from the cup like so twist it then cut an end not too thick and not too thin either then we come bring our cake like so then we do the drip then now go in with the berries so here I'm just placing them however I see fit some little colored white chocolate just for pizzazz I just remembered <laughs> pizzazz was the name of our school magazine <laughs> And what's cake without a topper? We put a birthday topper. You can't see it on camera. Let me take you up. Yeah. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. And there you have it. There's my birthday cake. As you can see, very easy to make. I haven't made something very big this time round. This is almost maybe 1.5 counting even the berries on top of the cake. So it's not a huge cake, but it can feed about 15 to 20 people depending on how you slice it. But there's the cake. Unfortunately, I'm not going to slice it on camera since it's my birthday cake. I want to slice it with my family, but I can guarantee you the cake is very delicious. It's a cake I've made many times before. I'm going to put a link of this recipe in the description box so that you can be able to make it for your self or your loved one but it's very easy to make you can use just about any berries if you have mulberries blackberries you can incorporate them into the cake uh and there it is happy birthday and, and if you're not subscribed please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the cake recipes coming your way and remember to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time a video goes live and that is it it's my birthday please do leave Birthday wishes in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and for me Gatori Kwaheri. It's my birthday. It's my birthday.